Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica. So we are going to do a couples therapy reading today, a very specific scenario. So um, this is either going to be your story or not, and it is intended to be timeless. So whether you are here um, from a pick a card reading or simply just as a one off video, either way, welcome. I'm glad you're here. So the card here, number 68, drop into your heart, is the card for this reading. And I'm going to place it here and give you that final guidance after we take a look at what is going on with the scenario. That will be the guidance for those of you not going to the extended where I go more in depth. So um, if this reading doesn't resonate, do check out the other couples therapy videos for additional messages. You might be, um, might, this may not be your story today, which is totally fine. But let's, um, let's get started and see what is going on in this scenario. What is happening in this dynamic? Okay. I feel like somebody is um, in the process of, maybe there was a, um, a period of time where this relationship was um, not together, broken up, having serious issues. Um, maybe there was a, a period of there being a stalemate, no comp, no communication. But something here, someone's trying to make this situation right. And I feel like somebody's coming forward here with a real true desire to put effort into something. Where maybe they were taking um, the other person for granted. Maybe they weren't willing to put a lot of effort in before. Or maybe they were just taking, taking, taking. and um, Or maybe they just weren't putting in as much effort as the other person. Um, but now they're coming forward here with a desire for a new beginning. One that is like they're, I mean, they're hearing like, I really want to work on this. I really want to work on this. I don't want this to be over is what I'm hearing. So let's get um, this dialogue started. What is going on? So what's your energy coming into this? And I'm going to say masculine um, and feminine simply, but it's person A, person B. Feel free to switch the people. So the masculine is coming in here almost like he's been really... Um, diving into his emotions he's been really feeling things on a very deep level and this is where he's just like you know what i have this desire and this this need to connect and to heal the situation and I, it's something deep within me that has just grown and grown to where i can't ignore these feelings any longer i want to make this better and for the feminine here, we have the magician. It's almost like this is where she has manifested this, this desire for a new beginning. This is where she's in this energy of like, okay, well, maybe we can, maybe we can work on this. Maybe we can see what, see what's going on. I feel like this feminine is approaching this conversation with, well, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe we have the tools to fix this. Maybe we don't. Um, but only time will tell if this can be healed. Only time will tell. So, so what's on your mind? So what's going on with you, feminine, about coming into this conversation? So you're in the magician energy here. So what's on your mind about this? She's like, I knew, I knew he would be here. I knew that this would come at some point. I had an intuition about it. I knew it. Because I know that we have a real serious potential here. It's like this, it's like she's saying, like, I kind of knew that it was going to take some time for this person to, this guy to figure it out.
Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Yeah. Yeah, this this feminine um you know, intuitively felt that She was, it's like, I kind of knew the masculine would be on his way at some point. But she's not sure. It's like she knew this person would be back, but she's not sure what's going to happen. It's not like, oh, you're back. Great. Now we're going to be together. She's like, yeah, I knew you'd be back. But now I'm not really sure if there's even still an opportunity left is what she's kind of coming into this conversation with. Okay, so how are you coming into this conversation? Masculine with intense, uh, intense energy with real clarity, real purpose. He's like, no, I, I'm going to fight for this. I, I don't want to give up on this. There's no way I'm going to give up on this. Uh, this person here, um, the feminine, may be in another relationship. Not necessarily, but it's a possibility for some of you. But I'm not feeling that as strongly, but it is a message for some. But this is where the masculine's like, oh, no, no, no. Um, not only do I know what I know now is I am very passionate about healing this. There is an intensity that I'm feeling. Because I've discovered a lot about myself through this separation. That I want this beginning with you. I want this beautiful life with you. And I'm willing to make the changes in my life. I'm willing to show you that I'm willing to put in the effort. And I discovered where my sense of unworthiness led to our breakup. But now I see the truth. I'm not going to give up on this. This is a very determined masculine energy. I don't want to give up on what we've already started. We've got a lot of history here. I want to nurture what we've already built. And I'm very clear that I've chosen you. I may have had options in the past. I may have been confused in the past, but no longer am I confused. My, I, Not only do I have the clarity, but I have the passion behind it. I have the purpose behind it. I have the flame of fire behind the truth. This isn't just, I know the truth. It's like my soul is burning with the truth. Okay, so what is it you want to say back to this masculine? What is it you want to say back to what he's saying to you? Yeah, but, you know, I was heartbroken when you walked away from me. I saw a real potential of happiness. I was ready to give you everything. Because I see you as my partner with this lovers, the ten of cups, the eight of cups. Yeah, but you walked away from our partnership. You made a choice. I was ready to be happy with you. I had already chosen you. For some of you, maybe, you know, this person walked away from, from a, a commitment and a marriage even. You abandoned our family, for some of you. You abandoned everything we had. Because I was committed to this. So what do you want to say in return, masculine, to what she's saying? 
Yeah, but there's my Ace of Wands. Like, I know now what I know. I know my truth. I know that without a shadow of a doubt, I know that I want this. I don't know what you're going to do. And I don't expect you to necessarily believe this because I acted prematurely or I spoke too soon when I said I didn't want this anymore. I didn't know what I was doing. But I have the most immense love for you. I cannot, I cannot ignore the depth of my emotions for you. And I'm going to tell you and show you how deep my emotions are for you. So what is it that you want him to know? What are you saying back to him from what he's saying this? He's saying he's very clear. He's never been more clear in his life. And he's never been more purposeful in his life. Because he knows his love for you. Yeah, but what you did hurt when you communicated before, it hurt. Because you're my soulmate. We had a family. We had success. Or I saw success with us. I saw our total forever future together. Very happy. And you cut that out. You were harsh. You didn't open your heart to all that was there. Yep, you were harsh. It was your way or the highway. You were going to do it. didn't matter. But you were the person who tried to control everything. And we just wanted to have love. We just wanted, I just wanted to have love and emotion and show you how much you are loved. And you wouldn't let it in. So what do you say back to that? Yep, yeah, I was naive. Page of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and the Sun. I was impulsive. I was impulsive in what I did. I abandoned everybody. I abandoned everything. But I've put a lot of work into myself now. I want to show you that I'm ready to put in the effort. Because you are my world. You are where I want to be. Home is where I want to be with you. And I know that I let things into our family, into our lives, into our relationship that were difficult. But I was impulsive. I let my fears get the best of me. But I've now developed my strength. I've developed the courage to come tell you all that I all that I want to say. And I'm telling you intensely. That I am more sure than I've ever been about this relationship. And I want to show you emotionally. I want to be happy. I want to put an end to whatever happened in the past. I want to put the past in the past. For some of you, this is the person, the masculine apologizing for choosing somebody else possibly over you. Maybe even an affair. That's only for some of you. I'm sorry that I betrayed you. I'm sorry I acted impulsively and that hurt our family. So what is it that you want the outcome of this conversation, this couples therapy session to be, Divine Masculine? What is it that you want the outcome of this to be? The world. The seven of Wands. Okay, so what he's saying, he's like, I want her to understand that I've put an end to whatever was in the past. I've moved on. I want to move on. I want to move on. I'm going to fight for our family. I don't care what else is coming at me. Nothing else matters to me but you and making this happen. 
I'm willing to fight. I'm not looking at any other opportunities. I'm not looking at any other thing. I had a lot coming at me at the time. I was afraid to open my heart, but now I'm ready to open my heart. I'm ready to open my heart with that two of cups. Mm -hmm. I'm now ready to fight for this because you are my soulmate and I am clear on this. I know that my future, I'm taking responsibility for whatever I did in the past. I'm going to show you that I'm willing to take the responsibility for whatever I did to end this. Because it is through this past ending that I have now become enlightened to the power of what I have with you. And I'm ready for a solid new start. I'm moving on from the past. I want us to move on from the past. I'm not going anywhere. This is solid. I want I want to I want to lay down roots with you in a new foundation. And I want you to know this. So what is it that you want the outcome of this session to be? Divine feminine. What is it that you want the outcome of this session to be? This conversation. She's saying, I want the truth. I want you to tell me how you feel. I want to understand the clarity that you've received before I can really open up to this. What, what has gotten you so clear now on your purpose? What is it that you now know about your emotions that you did not know before? What is it that has ignited this? Why should I open up to this? What clarity have you gotten about your emotions that will make me open up my heart to you again? I want to know what you've discovered and what you've learned before I will open up my heart and my soul to you again. I want to know how you feel. I'm glad that you want to take responsibility. I want to share this responsibility of our family, of our life together. We're supposed to do this. We, have, we were supposed to do this together. We were supposed to be a team forever. And she's saying, listen, I take my share of the responsibility, too, for wherever we were. Yet I need to know whether to take this leap of faith with you, whether to take this risk. I don't know if I want to go down this road again, if the same thing's going to happen. I want this, too. I want our relationship. I want our family. Yet I'm not sure I can I can do this. I need to know more. I need to know that you're going to be in this with me. That we're each going to take our own responsibility for ourselves. And we need to make this decision together. We have a lot riding on this. So... Princess of Pentacles at the bottom here. What's at the bottom here? The star. Okay. She's saying, like, I want to write a new chapter here. We have the opportunity to write a new chapter. There is potential to heal because he wants to heal. However, we need to do things differently. All right, my friends. So... Let's get the final message. This can be guidance. This is, can be further confirmation of the situation. In the extended, we're going to go more in depth with these two. What they're afraid of. What they wish the other understood. What they're each working on. What unconscious shadows are affecting. So this card is, says, drop into your heart. Card number 68. So I'll read this message for those of you not going into the extended. So the, the guidance here is there is a place of light within that no darkness can touch. It cannot be shamed. It can never be made impure. It is never lost or darkened or unavailable to us, though we may forget sometimes. Sitting in a darkened room and not realizing that we can stand up and walk into the light so close to us, just on the other side of the doorway of the heart. 
Whatever may arise, great joy, great sorrow, drop into your heart and offer it to the divine, gently bowing your forehead to your hands in prayer. Connect mind to heart. Let yourself have some peace. It wants you. You know. This oracle brings you an offering. The divine would like you to offer whatever is bringing your heart trouble, or of course, joy. The divine would like to receive this from you as a gift that it may return to you with special blessing. Place your hands at your heart and in genuine reflection, perhaps you may choose to offer your heart burden or light now. Either it will be joyfully received by the divine and you shall be graced with a gift in return. So this guidance is saying, let go of the burdens, give it to the divine. Allow the divine to help carry the burden of the situation for the two of you. Because when you let go of the burden and the heaviness is when the universe and the divine can gift you the blessing. But what is required is to let go of the burden before the blessing can arrive. All right, beautiful friend. I hope this was helpful. I'll see some of you in the extended and do check out the other couples therapy readings as well. Until next time, I'll send you love. Bye.